Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting. This channel is dedicated to helping people like you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna do an unboxing of a very common light that you can buy at Home Depot, Lowe's, and I believe Walmart, or one of the three. And this is the picture of what the light looks like. I'm also gonna compare it with other spotlights, show you the different types of bulbs that all of them use, and then kind of an overall review that I have for this fixture, so stay tuned. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over this spotlight. This is a common, like I mentioned, this is a common spotlight that you can purchase. And just right off the bat, I just wanna say that I was actually pretty impressed with this little fixture. Most fixtures that I see at Home Depot, Lowe's, or Walmart, I'm not impressed with, and mainly because I work so much with professional landscape lighting, so going down to um, these really cheap quality fixtures is something that I am not used to, and I don't really like the way that they shine. So with that being said, I did like this fixture a lot more than I thought, and I will show you why. So right off the bat, when you open this up, you realize how tiny this fixture is. Like there's just enough room for the bulb to fit in here and a stake and it's really close to the ground. And when I first saw this, I thought, wow, this is not gonna work well for me at all. But the nice thing, like I mentioned before, this does connect to a wire, which goes to a transformer. And this is nice because when you have a transformer producing light for a fixture, the light's gonna be a lot better than if it were a solar light. I'm gonna compare this size to other sizes so that you can see how small this fixture actually is. So this is a solar light that you can buy. And as you can see, it's, you know, it's pretty small compared to this fixture. Here's a professional aluminum fixture that I use. And compared to this aluminum fixture that I use, um, you can tell this different size of it. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit, it's about half the size of this fixture. And then comparing it with the brass fixture, this is the size of the brass fixture. So there's the different sizes of these spotlights. Now I'm gonna go over the quality. Now the quality of this fixture actually surprised me as well because it feels like a pretty durable aluminum. This feature right here, because of the quality of the metal, these teeth won't strip. And so this is actually a pretty good hinge right here. A lot of times these hinges will break pretty easily and that's why I don't recommend certain lights, but this I'm pretty impressed with. All right, so now we're gonna go over the, the bulb. So the bulb is, it's gonna be an MR11. So that's a pretty small bulb. This is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between an MR11 and an MR16. And an MR16 is what I always use. I rarely use an MR11. So this MR16, that's what goes into these two professional fixtures, not the solar light. So you can tell how small this is in comparison. Now they do have an LED version of this MR11 and there it is. I am quite fond of this brand as well. This fixture is a very good fixture. And when you compare it to the MR16 bulb, you could tell. So this one only has the three and this has six. So you can tell that this bulb is a lot brighter than this. But overall, these MR11s are pretty good quality bulbs and shine quite a bit of light. So if you ever look into a light and it has MR11, just go for it. It's nice, the fixtures are smaller, the bulbs are smaller. All right, now to compare with the different quality. So this is plastic, this is pretty junky. Um, it's got kind of a similar twisting on with the teeth, but since it's plastic, this is gonna break pretty quickly. This is my this is one of my aluminum fixtures. It's super durable. It's got an Allen wrench hinge, which is wonderful because these will always stay intact. You will never have a problem with Allen wrench um, hinges. This is one of my brass fixtures. I don't normally like a screw because you can strip this when you, if, let's say you use a drill, you can strip this, but um, for the most part, this hinge is pretty good, but this quality is super awesome. Now this is another one of my um, brass fixtures. This thing, it weighs like two pounds. It is super durable. It's 
brass like I said so this this is a professional fixture it's super solid super durable when you compare it again with this fixture right here you can see how small it is this weighs like ounces this weighs like two two or three pounds so you can see the difference in quality especially from my point of view when you know I work with professional lights so much and so whenever I see small you know not great quality lights from Home Depot Lowe's or Walmart or any other hardware store I you know I tend to be a little wary and a little worried especially when people are buying those lights but this light if you do choose to buy this go for it I am very impressed I'll show you a few pictures here to show you kind of the the light that it produces so this light I give it a thumbs up well done well made and I do love that you can replace it with a an LED an LED bulb so that's a big plus so there you have it that's the unboxing of a very common spotlight that you can purchase at most hardware stores i give it a thumbs up you can definitely buy this it is ak lighting approved also if you want to check out more videos i have a few playlists that go over question common questions that you have another playlist i have goes over an installation from start to finish i also have a free pdf download that you can get in the description below and in the comments so click that it goes over everything you need to know about landscape lighting best of luck with your landscape lighting and i will see you in the next video bye